In a world where no one wants to pay for cable anymore, a culture will rise where every dumb media company thinks you like them enough to become a paid subscriber. But until narrative media fails completely and we just stare at each other on social media all day, live through a time when there's too much to watch, the good stuff is hard to find, and everything is gonna cost you. Ah, progress. Every streaming service. Remember the company who used to send you DVDs that would sit unwatched on your coffee table? Now, they're a streaming service full of shows that will sit unwatched in their own library, where the employees and the shows all get axed after two years because they're too cheap to give the cast and crew a pay bump and too flush with cash to resist making a new show to boost signups in Outer Mongolia. But hey, at least they've made some of your favorites, resurrected some dead movie genres, and handed some great directors a blank check. Who cares if they're billions of dollars in debt? When your company name is a verb, the money printer goes <laughs> Quickster. From the network that brought you Star Trek, The Twilight Zone, and 10,000 shows about crime-solving acronyms comes a streaming service that's chock full of exactly that. Plus, a bunch of shows that were designed to sell denture cream to viewers who haven't known how to change the channel on their TV since 97. It's a service who's been so fully ignored by non-Trekkies that their parent company is already changing the name. Good sign. No, it isn't. Too many tracks. Get ready for NBC Universal's rushed late entry into the streaming race, which was supposed to make its big debut with the Tokyo Olympics, but instead limped out with a socially distanced 30 Rock reunion special promoting their other shows. Do you know how many amazing shows I have on Peacock alone? That's a deal breaker, ladies. Still, if you're looking for classic NBC programs like Friends, Seinfeld, and ER, you also get Ads. Sure, Hulu already tried this model and it failed, but did they have a cock in their name? I think cock, I mean cock, uh, not. Half cocked. From the people who brought you everything in your apartment comes the only service in the streaming wars who's listening to everything you're doing. Alexa, let's chat. See, who brings you edgy, acclaimed programming, an unfathomable amount of absolute crap, and free two-day shipping courtesy of a modern-day feudal peasant. But don't worry, they're working on turning them into delivery drones, which are just a turret gun away from becoming murder drones. I feel like Bezos is the only one taking the streaming wars literally. <laughs> Cyberdyne Prime. Love YouTube but hate how free it is? Like Reno 911, but wish there was less of it? Then come on over to Quibi, where you can watch new originals, or just wait until they're ruthlessly mocked on Twitter, like Lady in Love with her golden arm. You've got to take off that prosthetic. No, I can't take off my golden arm, ever. Or third wave feminist sex doll road trip. I have pee anxiety, can you like... But what Quibi lacks in content, it also lacks in anyone willing to pay for this there isn't even any joy in this. It's like making fun of a sick dog. I hope someone takes Quibi out for one last run around the park before it's too late. You're a good boy, Queebs. Okay, maybe not good, but okay. You're an okay boy. Seven minutes in Mavin. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Who needs an all-new service? We know why we're both here together. You don't want another new show to watch. You want to watch a show talk about that show. I do, I'm sorry, guilty as charged. Then maybe leave a naughty little comment down below. Go ahead, say whatever you want. Does Netflix let you do that? Call us a bunch of Sims. It only boosts our engagement metrics. Now, let's get wild and see where the recommended videos take us. Ooh, a flat earth essay? Mmm, you always know what the dumbest, worst people are looking for. America's saddest home videos. Do you like Friends? You better, because showing the reruns cost about half a billion dollars. F so give some money to the service that still has all the great HBO shows, the best of Adult Swim, and a huge chunk of the Criterion Collection. But it's all being subsidized by the dullards who want to watch this for the 900th time. How you doing? <laughs> it's funny because it's... wait, why is it funny? Friends with Benefits. Remember regular TV shows? Hulu remembers. Go green for the service that acts as a life raft for all the rapidly drowning cable channels, plus originals that target the women who are going through a lot right now demographic, with flexible options like paying to just watch Hulu, paying to watch Hulu without ads, paying to watch Hulu and live TV, or paying to watch Hulu and live TV with premium add-ons. And okay, we're just back to being cable again, aren't we? I see your game, Hulu. 
Disney Minus. Experience a higher caliber of programming. Crafted to meet the precise standards of the company behind the Thunderbolt to USB dongle, the Lightning to headphone jack adapter, and a thousand dollar stick. Featuring storytelling so refined and exclusive, nobody you know has ever seen or talked about it. You can't tell me Blind Aquaman Viking Show and The Office where Michael gets me too to reel. This has to be part of some kind of elaborate tax game or something. I pass. Once upon a time, a magical company was drunk with power, dominating the movie theaters, cruise lines, and the happiest place on earth for kids and weird adults with too much time and money. But then a plague took all the revenue streams away and put all the pressure on the little streaming service that could. But with the help of a few great shows, a vault full of nostalgia, and literally nothing else of value, you just might forget to unsubscribe long enough for the MCU stuff to come out. The Mickey Mouse Hub. Starring these other streaming services we didn't have time to mention. Too spooky for me. Crackle still around? Good for you, Crackle. Sports without the actual games. Games without the actual games. Regular ass TV all over again. Only fans. What? <laughs> What's that one? <laughs> I don't recognize that one, guys. Sorry. And yeah, I don't know where you guys are even getting these from. I've never heard of them personally, that's for sure. Every streaming service. Let's just pray these places never catch on that we're all sharing the same account login. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Everything is terrible. You're a Peaky Blinder now, son. Do not be sorry. Be better. Could my voice be any more dope? Yes, it can.